If you're wondering why I'm late to the party, well, this is the last time I ever take an Uber driver from the dark web. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, my friend. It's your boy, Secret Letters, and Hacker One finally released this amazing feature called CVE and CWE Discovery. And I love CVEs. They're the easiest to hunt for and report on. Anyways, let's take a look at the ranking CVEs on the platform and coming in at number one to CVE 2023-24488, which is a cross-site scripting vulnerability in Citrix, ACDC, and Citrix gateways. Wait, what? Anyways, let's check out the reports tab and bam, 1,435. What's, what's today's date? Hmm. Must have missed the memo on this vulnerability. But I bet we can still find it out there in the wild. Let's get into it. So first things first, we need to search for Citrix ACDCs and Citrix gateways. So let's pop into Shodan and run some search commands. This search is looking for any web pages that contain the term Citrix gateway, indicating that the server is likely running this service. Now this search command is looking for the main index page of a VPN service, which can indicate a VPN is being run on the server. This command is looking for a specific login page likely related to a Citrix service. These search commands are looking for login and logout CGI scripts which could indicate a web-based service that requires user authentication. This search is looking for a specific logout page for a VPN service. These searches are looking for directories related to VPN searches, specifically Citrix VPNs, and the list goes on. So I want to take all these commands, drop them into a script, be able to change the domain I want to hunt on, Print the IP addresses to a text file, but also include some basic rate limit handling because all API plans are subject to a rate limit of one request per second, according to Shodan's documentation. So the script needs to include a one second delay after each search term to ensure it doesn't exceed Shodan's rate limit. Then, once we get all our assets from our target domain, we can create a script to check the vulnerability because the proof of concept is, is pretty straightforward and only involves injecting a cross-site scripting payload into the parameter called post logout redirect, resulting in something looking like this. So now we can already use one up on GitHub or because Nuclei added a new CVE YAML file for this vulnerability. Now you're probably wondering, secret letters, I don't have a Shodan API key. How am I gonna search for this vulnerability? Well guys, if you don't have Shodan, I guess you could just use the Google search. But don't get discouraged, my friends, because hackers and bug bounty researchers are still reporting on this cross-site scripting vulnerability because not everyone has installed the relevant updated versions of Citrix gateways. Thanks for watching guys. Hit me up in the comments section below. Check out some more extra hacking and bug bounty content and I'll see you out there on the hunt.